and you know we're just gonna get started and if anyone else joins in because i i really want um like full amount of time here okay start to settle into your body when you feel ready you can close your eyes and the idea here and you might really appreciate this is I watched a very long but terrible movie over the weekend on Netflix. Right? And it's, sometimes people just think that like more is better. Right? What we know is actually like the quality of the acting, the richness of the plot and story. But even like a short film, 20 minutes, can really fully engage us and capture our attention. And so that's how I want you to think of your yoga practice this afternoon, this morning. is not very long. But with all the actors really focusing on quality. But I thought we have a couple more people joining in Zuba, so just kind of take your time. Enjoying your own breath and almost think you could kind of act like each part of this is kind of creating the quality of your movie like your mat the room that you're in creating a nice peaceful peaceful serene setting right your mind your body your breath as these different actors really working together, playing off each other. Continuing with three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, remembering it's like one good breath at a time. Inhale. Taking care of the exhale. Kind of like setting the stage for your practice. One more inhale. Exhale. Pulling the hands in front of your heart center. Good. Okay. So when your hands come in front of your heart center here, Zubair, go ahead and pull your wrists down in line with your elbows. Yep. And broaden across your collarbones. Take the heads of the shoulders back. Lift up from the center of the chest. And as you kind of firm your outer shoulders, your deltoid, press your elbows together. Press through all four corners of your hands. Press into the pads of your fingertips. Okay. And then so Claire and Maria, the theme here today is I watched a really long and really horrible movie over the weekend. And unfortunately, some people think that longer is better. But what we know is actually it's the quality of the acting the engagement in the moment, the storyline, the plot, and even the setting that can make even like a short story really powerful and engaging. So as we all settle in here, 
like your room, your mat is your stage. Your mind, your breath, and your body are the actors working together. Kind of to create the sequence or the story of your practice. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, you're going to start to take your prayer up. Bringing your elbows together, seeing how high up you can keep your elbows connected. They're going to start to separate and then drop the fingertips down the back body, bending the elbows, feeling it in your triceps here. And then extend your prayer all the way up, lengthening and kind of clear the space around you. Hands come into your heart center, Anjali Mudra. Wrist creases drop down in line with your elbows. Start to press into the wrist creases, start to warm them up. Prayer starts to lift, elbows draw together, inhaling up. Keep squeezing, squeezing, squeezing in toward the midline. Fingertips reach down to the mid back, chin away from chest. Lengthen and extend. Then the prayer all the way up, pressing through the pinky edge side of your hand. And then flip your palms and again, clear and just kind of pay attention to the quality, right? The intention behind your actions. One more time, hands in front of the heart, big, slow inhale. A little bit uncomfortable, right? As we take our elbows together, right? But this is a lot of like our arm up overhead. What muscles have to fire up to keep squeezing the elbows together, wrapping them in. That's actually external rotation of your upper arm bone. Side waistline pulls back. Take your prayer up. Inhale. And exhale, fully release, stretching out through the fingertips, kind of clearing out that space. Good. Roll over your shins. Sit back on your heel. And then line the heels of your hands up with your kneecaps and then flip your hands around so that your fingertips turn back. Put that micro bend to your elbows, right? So that they're not locked. You should start to feel this more in the wrist joint. And then foul pose. How much can you anteriorly rotate your hips? Bring your frontal hip point toward your thighs. I want you to feel your hip flexors actually start to engage. And then chin to chest and round, pushing your low back and your upper back towards the back of your mat as you tuck in. Follow here. Inhale, bend elbows, pull the shoulders back. You can almost feel like you're dragging your mat backwards with your hands. And then exhale, rounding in fully here. You might feel your tailbone, fish hook up, sitting bones come together. And then one more, inhale, broaden, open. Move the hips to move the spine to open the heart. And then exhale, round in. Okay, and so whenever you need you guys, keep coming back, to it, like you're building your own grip, being really mindful of your movements as you shift forward and come into tabletop position. Okay, knees directly underneath your hips, spread your fingertips open broad, tuck toes, inhale, cow. Yeah, and then keeping that rotation in your pelvis, downward facing dog. Okay, so we're going to do five down dogs here, but we're going to do five down dogs using slightly different movements, slightly different cues to get you kind of out of autopilot and really enhance and increase the quality of how you do your down dog. So for this first one, I want you to lift your heels up away from the mat. Good. So the higher you can lift your heels, you might feel your kneecap lift and your quadriceps are able to engage. And then all the way up into those hip flexors, I want you to contract and try to pull that frontal hip point closer to your femur bone and to really rotate your pelvis more. You should feel your sitting bones turn and lift up higher. And then drag your heels down and back, hopefully increasing that hamstring stretch. Knees come down to the mat, table top, take the load out of the shoulders. Inhale, chest pulls forward, cow pose. You should feel that work of the hip flexors to lift and spread sitting bones. 
And then again, downward facing dog. Second round, lift the heels, pull up through the kneecap, the quadriceps. See if you can turn your sitting bones up higher. And then this time as you press through the root of your big toes, keep lengthening your heels down and back. I want this to feel more like the Achilles tendon and calf. Now, can you lift your toes up away from the mat? That's going to activate the muscles on the front of the shin bone so the calf bones can stretch. And then really, what if your ball of your foot was on a foam roller and you're trying to roll the roller back, coming more onto the back edge of the ball of the foot, stretching the Achilles tendon calves up into the hamstrings, all the way up into the sitting bone. And so the legs should be very active. Lots of quality here in the tone of your leg. Knees down to the mat, table, top position. Already getting warm. Inhale, cow pose, a little bit bigger. And then send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Okay. Do all those things here. Heels lift, quadriceps tone, press through the root of the big toe, drive the heel down and back, lift and spread all 10 toes, drag the mat or roll the balls of the feet more backward. And now press your heel wider apart. Like your heels, even if they're not touching the mat, could Spread the back of the mat in half, and you should feel stability coming into your outer hip. Inhale. Exhale, knees down to the mat. Table, top position. So that was number three. You have two more. Switching to your upper body. Inhale, cow pose. Bigger breath. Exhale, send your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Now, don't forget the legs. Travel the awareness down your spine and into your shoulders. Now, with your hands planted, imagine that your hands are on the lids of jars and feel like you're turning the hands inward towards one another, like you're twisting the jars inwards. See what muscles fire up. That's a little bit more internal rotation. Take your knees down to the mat, table top. Now keep your hands planted, hands are on those imaginary jar lids, and externally rotate them so that you feel your collarbones broaden. Keep all of that, send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. So then even in your down dog, with the weight loaded in your shoulders, you could even feel turning inward a little bit. And then what's it like to Turn outward, external rotation, shoulders should be really working. Last one here, you guys, knees down. So set number five, inhale, cow pose. Okay, go up and back into your down dog. Now make sure your toes are lifted, right? Your calves, your backs of your knees, sitting bones are up. And now shift forward into plank pose. As you come into plank, Push the floor away and really broaden your upper back. You guys know that as protraction of your shoulder blade. Turn your jars open, external rotation, and then send your hips up and back, keeping your shoulder blades opening laterally to keep your upper back broad. One. Press your chest towards your thighs. Two. And now as you lift your spine up out of your shoulders, Hips lift up away from your low back. How long can you make your down dog? Knees to the mat, tabletop position. Good job. Okay, elbows come down onto your mat. Remember, our practice is going to be as like as effective or like as enjoyable as our actors are doing like the quality of the work. From here on your forms, inhale, cow pose. Point your toes round in cat. It'd be way more into your upper back now. One more. Inhale, cow pose. And now with your toes tucked under and elbows narrow, can you lift your knees and go up and back into dolphin? Okay, so in dolphin, it's okay if you have to bend your knees a little bit, but still then try to press your sitting bones up tall. 
And when you feel ready, drag the heels down and back. Excellent. Knees to the mat. Come back up. Tabletop position. From tabletop, downward facing dog. Right foot steps where right hand is. Right arm lift. Simple twisted low lunge. I want you to focus on that bottom left hand, turning the jar open, scooping that left shoulder blade onto your upper back. Hand to the mat, press back, downward facing dog. Take your inhale, go for quality. Connecting mind, body, and breath, and then step left foot where left hand is, left arm extends up. Focus on your foundation, like your feet, your right hand, turn that jar open, spread chest, right? See if that like engages you more into the story of what we're trying to open here. And then step back, downward facing dog. Lift, right leg up and back, three-legged down dog. Now you guys, even on that left foot, I'm spreading my toes, I'm lifting them up off the mat. I'm rolling towards the back of the ball edge of my foot. And then step right foot forward up in between your hands, lunge. Lower the back, left knee down, twist. Left elbow outside edge of right knee. Okay, so we started class with our hands in Anjali Mudra. The thumbs were connected at the sternum, at the breastbone, at the heart. See if you can create all those qualities. Inner shoulders rolling towards outer shoulders. Engage back body as you twist. Press back. Downward facing dog. And now you have kind of five things that you can focus on in your body to make your down dog a little bit clearer, a little bit stronger. Quadriceps are engaged. Lift. Left leg up and back. Three-legged down dog. Focus on Pulling back through the ball of your right foot, through your right heel and Achilles tendon. And then step left foot forward up in between your hands, lunge. Back right knee down, right elbow outside edge. Twist. So I really do try to picture myself like I was just seated there. My bow sitting bones would be on the floor. I'd be lifting up out of the low back. And... Press the wrist creases together by driving the elbows in towards one another. Inhale. Exhale. Fingertips to the mat. Back foot steps forward. Good. Nice. Do our hands to shins. Inhale. Open. Okay, so it's a lot of the same actions in the legs here, you guys. You can always lift all five toes. Root down more through the big toe mound. Try to spin the heels. Slightly open, stretching the mat with your inner heel to your outer heel, and then fold in here out over active leg. Uttanasana. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to hips, elbows up, flat back, and press all the way to stand. Hands in front of your heart center, Anjali Mudra. Close your eyes. Now use your hamstring to try to pull your sitting bones down towards your heels, engaging the backs of your legs, right? And then we want to make this practice like engaging, like you're really interested, like you can't kind of pull your eyes away from it. Like I'm binge on Netflix, you want to binge on your breath. Inhale, keep your palms together as you lengthen straight up. And then exhale, fold in, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen, half flat back. Step your left foot back, lunge. Plant that left palm as we prepare for side plank, Vatsi Sasana. Pivot turn to the pinky edge side of your left foot. And then stack here. So it's all that same work of Tadasana. Right hip forward, left hip draws under. Hamstrings engaged to root your tailbone. And then push the floor away as you turn that jar open with your left hand. Inhale, look up to stretch up. 
right hand to the mat, top of your push-up plank pose. Inhale, plank. Remember, drop your rib cage. Just do a scapular push-up. Bend your elbows, chaturanga. Knees down, hips down, point toes. Inhale, cobra. Good, Claire. And exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Okay. You can, do your, you can leave your eyes open. All right, you're on the stage here, kind of like you're set and setting. Maybe looking at your feet. Using one of those five pointers to enrich your practice, enrich your down dog. Inhale, press. Exhale, step forward, top of your mat. Set your legs, set your feet, lift your toes. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold in Uttanasana. Your practice will be as strong and deep as the quality of your breath. Hand to hip, half flat back. Use your glutes, lift to rise. Continue, hands in front of your heart. Connect through the outer edge of your wrist, your pinky fingers. Inhale, prayer straight up. Look up, stretch up, tailbone down, hamstrings are engaged. Exhale, fold in, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen, half flat back to open. Step your right foot deeply back, lunge. Prepare that right hand. Elbow crease turns in the direction of the thumb. Pivot turn, pinky edge side of right foot, side plank, Vatsi Sasana. Straight up through the midline. Okay, and so as you push the pinky edge side of that right foot into the floor, you're going to firm that outer left hip. Helping to stabilize right side body. Inhale. Exhale, left hand down. Plank pose. Find it here. We lock our arms. Tone your legs. Drop your rib cage. Scapular push up. That's retraction. Bend your elbows. Chaturanga. Knees down. Hips down. Point toes. Press the tops of your ankles down. Feel that ripple up through your spine. Beautiful up dog or cobra pose. Press back. Downward facing dog. So I'm just going to suggest you guys that you kind of find a different tip or a different pointer to focus on. Like my legs are already getting a little bit tired. I'm going to focus a little bit on my hands. First, trying to do a little bit of that internal rotation. The hands help guide the shoulders. And then try a little bit of external rotation. Step forward, top of your mat. Hands to shins. Inhale, open. Remember, hands press into the top of the shin bones. So you can anteriorly rotate your pelvis a little bit more, Zubair. Bend your knees. Bend your knees, Zubair. Bend, curve, curve, bend, stoop. Yes, sitting bones up and back. Fold in here. Ooh, tanasana. Okay, this time, if you want to circle your arms all the way around and up, connect to the pinky edge side of the hands first, follow breath, exhale, dive in, ooh, tanasana. Inhale to lengthen, half flat back. Exhale, step back, top of your push-up plank pose. From the top of your push-up plank pose, left elbow down onto your forearm. Forearm Vatsi Stasana. Roll over onto that. Yeah, left elbow. And we want to press through the root of the left big thumb, through the inner wrist, inner elbow. Inhale. Exhale, right forearm down. Forearm plank pose. From your forearm plank, knees down. Do center of your thighs, tops of your thighs. Five pubic bone, belly bone, point toe, sphinx pose. Okay, make it a strong sphinx here, you guys. Elbows are squeezing in. You could pull the mat slightly apart with your hands. Feel it go right into the base of your heart. And then knees are going to walk in to come into a forearm tabletop. So you can make it a stronger rotation through your pelvis. Use your hip flexors. And then go up and back into dolphin pose. One. Inhale. 
Exhale to check in with all these different actors working together to create your story here, stretching the mat forward with your elbows. Inhale. Exhale, press evenly into your hands as you lift your elbows, downward facing dog. Look where you want to land. Hop, step, float, feet together at the top of your sticky mat. Activate your toes. Inhale, lengthen forward. Start to get a little bit deeper. My heels are a little bit separated. So I squeeze, pull my mat apart, feeling my outer hips activate. One more. Circle your arms this time around. Lift all the way up. Externally rotate those upper arm bones as you reach. Exhale, fold in Uttanasana. Inhale, open, lengthen, half flat back. Step back, top of your push up, plank pose. All right, so I'm already squeezing like the skin to the muscle, the muscle to the bone, pressing my tailbone down. Lower on to the right forearm and find the pinky edge side of that right foot. Forearm boxy sasana. One. Inhale, kind of full engagement here for two. I try to scissor my legs together. Inhale. Take your time. Exhale for three. Left forearm down, forearm plank. Okay, and then I drop my knees. Center of thighs, top of thighs, pubic bone, point toes. Press down through center of your ankles. Sphinx pose. Okay, so even here, right, if your hands go wider and your elbows squeeze in, that's that external rotation as your back body contracts, the front of the spine, the front of the chest expands. Inhale. Exhale, walk up onto your knees. Forearm tabletop. Inhale, cow. One more time. Dolphin. I try to press down through the center of my palms, through the center of my wrist, through the center of my forearm, through the center of the elbows. Yeah, as you lift your ribs up out of your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, press into your palms. Downward facing dog. One. Set the stage here. Exhale over two. So what is your mind, the dialogue? What is the script of the movie that you're creating right now for two? Inhale. Exhale for three. Look forward, hop, step, feet forward, top of your sticky mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hold. Bend knees, drop hips, sit low, chair pose. Okay? But then this time from chair, we're going to lift our heels. Split your knees as you lower down and just bring your hips all the way to your heels. That's fine. Hands down to the mat. Yeah. And then I just want you to try to bring your knees as high up onto your triceps, onto the backs of your shoulders. Plant your hands. Squeeze your knees together as you lift your hips. Lift your heels. Press forward and down through your hands as you tuck and round in. I'm going to look towards my belly button. Three. Still squeezing in here. Activating upper leg for two. Inhale. Exhale, step back, plank pose. From my plank, I'm going to put all my awareness on my bicep. And as I go into chaturanga, I'm going to turn the lids of my jars open, turning my bicep forward, lowering down into chaturanga. Be turning those lids open, up dog. As you lift your hips, downward facing dog. Right foot, step forward up in between your hands, lunge. Spin your back, left heel to flat. Warrior one, lift to rise. Focus on broadening your upper back. Externally rotating your arm bones. Prayer comes together. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat, pick up your foot, plank pose. Hands to elbow creases. 
to bicep, to deltoid, to chaturanga. Keep all of that up dog. Lift hips, roll over toes, downward facing dog. Second side, left foot steps forward, back heel grounds, even work between the legs, lift to rise. As my arms stretch out and I wrap my upper arm bones around, upper back is strong. From the power of the back leg, can you stretch up a little bit taller? Hands to the mat. Pick up that foot, try not to drag it. Plank pose. Work the upper body, you guys. Turn the hands, turn the in your elbows. Elbows brush side ribs. Inhale from the shoulders. Push the floor away. Up dog. Downward facing dog. One. Inhale. Exhale, two. Complete fold as much as you can. It's all about the rotation in your hip here for two. There you go, Maria. Inhale. Exhale for three. Look forward. Up, step, float. Feet together. Top of your sticky mat. Inhale. Rock the weight out of your heels. Look forward. Lengthen. Exhale. Fold in Uttanasana. Okay. One more. Bend knees. Drop hips. Find breath. Inhale up. Lift heel. Slide down that imaginary wall as you split your knees. Good. Plant your hands. I'm just going to slide a little bit back here, you guys, on my mat. Get into your small package. Help your shin bones high up onto your triceps. Feel the upper arm bone and the shin bone connect. Look forward. Lift your heels. Lift your sitting bones. Shift. Bakasana. Using your hamstring to pull the heels up towards your sitting bones. Push the floor. Three. Two. One. Step or jump through your vinyasa with the strength of your upper body. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, back heel ground. Warrior one. From your warrior one, heel toe your feet open. Warrior two. We're not holding from your warrior two. Can you shift forward? Ardha Chandrasana, working on the balance. So all those Vatsi Sasana, you guys are balancing poses. Left arm extends out over your left ear. Inhale. And now bend elbow and knee and top touch. Press them together. Inhale, open. Take your time. Quality of the actors working together. Exhale, top touch for two. One more. Inhale, press the heel out away from you. And then as you draw in, tuck tailbone, feel your lower abdominals. Inhale, open. Exhale, meet me back, top of your push-up. Plank pose. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, urdhva mukha. Exhale, adho mukha. Left foot step forward, right heel ground, root to rise. All the way up, warrior one. Heel toe, feet open, keep your hips level, warrior two. As you gaze forward, tracking left knee over your second and third toe, shift forward, Ardha Chandrasana, back leg is active, drive through heel, right? It's the hamstring, hamstring activating that pulls that top right sitting bone towards your right heel, right arm over right ear, three times. Lengthen, feel the stretch through side body. Exhale, take your time, tuck, round. It should feel like cat. Inhale, open. Exhale, top touch. I press until I feel everything engaged. One more. Inhale. Yeah. Be in, interested. Be engaged. Like riveted. What's going on? Inhale, open. Step back. Top of your push up. Plank pose. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale. So we've really been working the hands, the inner elbows the upper arm bones, into the shoulder blades. 
downward facing dog. One. Inhale. Exhale, two. And we feel the root of the index finger down, the root of the big toe down. Inhale. Exhale for three. Okay, right leg lifts, bend right knee, roll right hip open. Try to square your shoulders, mean dropping that right armpit down, lifting your left arm as we twist more through the hips. Okay. Right foot steps forward, lunge. Back heel spins to flat. Lift up warrior 1.5. It's been a while since we did this. So my hands are at my hips. I'm not fully in a warrior one with my left hip forward. I'm not fully in a warrior two with my left hip back. I'm coming to that place where I'm more concerned about finding neutral in my hips, being able to press my femur bones open wide and settling down into the pose here. So you're gonna give yourself a little bit more space, you guys, as you open on this diagonal. To really press that right heel forward and down, feel the stretch through the inner thigh, one. Inhale. Exhale for two, what's your narrative? What story are you creating in your mind here? Can you go to 90 degrees, right? And then hands cartwheel down to the mat, back heel lift, right leg lifts up and back, three-legged down dog. Now, as you look forward, bend that left knee. And can you dump your left foot forward up in between your hands? Yeah? Push from your upper back down into the mat, jump it back. Control. Put awareness into that lifted leg. That's one of the actors. Bend your left knee. Look where you want to land. Pick up. Travel forward. Press down. Travel back. Excellent. Last one. Inhale. Spread right toes. Float all the way to the top of your sticky mat. Now, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, standing split. As you fold in here, one. Inhale. Check your script, you guys. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale for three. Step back. Downward facing dog. Decide, do you want to chaturanga through the vinyasa? Do you want to hold down dog working here? Right. Building the story of your down dog. Your head, close your eyes. Inhale. Exhale. Left leg lifts. Bend left knee. Roll left hip open. Right? But I always end up shifting my shoulders. Try to keep your shoulders squared like they would be in a down dog. As you lift and open that top leg. Left foot steps forward, lunge, spin your back heel to flat, and then lift up warrior 1.5. I like my hands at my hips a little bit here to start. Right, taking them just a little bit easier here on yourself as you see if by doing warrior 1.5, you could actually spread your feet a little bit wider apart, think lower. I find it much easier to hook my tailbone under and engage the glutes. And then as you stretch up through your armpits, there you go, Claire. Yeah, extend your arms, front ribs are in. One. Inhale. Exhale for two. So really embody it. Feel it clearly from back body through the center of your torso. Forward through that left knee and left fingertips. 
Cartwheel your hands to the mat, left leg lift, up and back, three-legged down dog. Okay, so all the actors working together, top leg, press mat, connect to core, bend your right knee, look forward. Can you jump that right foot forward? Take it back. Inhale. Exhale, travel forward, good for two. The more I push down, I can lift up and back. And then last one. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, standing split at the top of your mat. One. Drop the weight of your head, your neck, your torso for two. Inhale. Exhale for three. Left foot steps back, lunge. Right foot steps back. Down dog. Knees to the mat. Point your toes. Hips to heel. Flip the palm. Bring the pinky edge sides of your hands to touch. The more I can roll my thumbs down and walk my elbows together, then I try to pull my head through. You feel the broadening of the upper back, the deepening of your hip creases as your sitting bones anchor towards your heel. And then try to stretch forward through the pinky finger. One. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Quality of your breathing. Exhale. Flip your palms as you come back up. Tabletop. Okay, and last little standing. Downward facing dog. Can you turn your sitting bones up anymore from the beginning of class by lifting your quadriceps? There you go. Yes, Maria, exactly. And then right heel, step forward next to right thumb. Engage back leg. Always the same work. Knee cap up. Press your tailbone down. Lift to rise. High lunge. And I just want to feel this with breath. Straighten the front leg. Can you engage your back left leg more? Turning the left hip in, inhale, stretch up, exhale, bend into the front knee, inhale, straighten, lengthen up, lengthen up, lengthen up, exhale, bend, one more, inhale, straighten, exhale, bend, drive the left femur bone back, Straighten the front right leg. Parallel your feet to the left. Hands to your hips. Okay, toes in, heels out. Lift the chest. Inhale, open. Now exhale, fold, and let's line our fingertips up with our toe tips. Hands are shoulder width distance apart. Your elbows are squeezing in. Your hands are turning the jars open. Get a little bit more length. So straighten your arms, look forward. Can you do all that work in your legs, the anterior rotation in the pelvis? And then as you bend your elbows, reaching the top of the head down towards the floor, right? If your head doesn't touch, try taking your feet wider. Now, push the floor away and can you tap left knee to left elbow? and then set it back down. And then try to shift the weight and tap, pick up that right foot and try to tap right knee to right elbow. Yes, back and forth. Pick up left foot, tap, touch, put it down, change side. Pick up right foot, tap, touch, set it down. Inhale, lengthen, half flat back. Pivot turn, top of your mat, low lunge. Left leg lift, up and back, three-legged down dog. Inhale here. Exhale, right knee, left armpit as you shift the plank. 
Come on, get it up there. Excellent. Inhale, right leg up and back. Right knee, right armpit. You should feel you're pushing the floor away. Up and back. Inhale, lengthen. Now, when you shift into plank, lift that left heel. Hook the tailbone under. Drive the knee forward through your elbows. Step it forward. Lunge. Put your back knee down. Walk it all the way back. You guys, I want you to sit. On that back left heel in toe stand, squeeze the knee to the midline and fold in here. Okay, so how would that right leg look in a down dog? You'd be pressing through the root of the big toe, spinning the heel out wide, lifting through the kneecap, the quadricep and trying to spread your sitting bones open as you drop your rib cage down and in. Open up the breath, bend it into the low back, into the hips for two. One more quality of your story here, quality of your practice today is the quality of your focus and of your breath. Inhale, lengthen, half flat back. Release, shift forward, plank pose. Two more vinyasas. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward up in between your hands, lunge. Before I lift to rise. I set that back leg, I hook the tailbone forward and come up high lunge. Lots of space as you straighten the front leg. Gather the front ribs in. Straighten front right le or left leg, my fault. Left leg straightened, sorry about that. Left leg straightened and then bend in. Try not to collapse into your low back. Try not to shift the torso forward. Keep your weight centered over your hips. Straighten the front leg, inhale. Just bend that left knee as you exhale, pressing your right femur bone back. One more. Inhale, lift. Lots about the root of the big toes today, you guys. And then exhale, bend in. Tailbone hooks forward. Straighten your front left leg. Parallel your feet to the right hands to hips. Pick your feet. Inhale. Big open breath. Exhale, fold in. Okay, second time, you guys. Line your fingertips up with your toe tips. Elbows are in. Once I plant my hands, I find my the lids of my jars. I turn them open to squeeze my elbows in. Inhale, lengthen, half flat back. Shift the weight out of the heels and into your toes. Widen and spread your sitting bones. And then you bend your elbows. And that's the tripod, you guys. You're Two hands are the bottom two corners of a triangle. The top of your head is the top, right? So you have a big base. Excellent, do better. Yeah, and then you can try to tap one elbow to the knee, and then you can try to tap the other elbow to the knee. Balancing here, this is a headstand, or if you want to try to extend your legs up towards the ceiling, coming into a full tripod headstand here today. It's the strength of Vakasana, the shift in the balance for two, head down, push the floor away. Yes, good, Maria. Yeah, elbows are in, nice, super. And then there, see, everybody had it. Take your time. You know what? I'm just going to let you all go on your own back in. Your three legged down dog will meet there. Left leg is lifted. Inhale. Lift the right heel, shift. Get that left kneecap up into your right armpit. Inhale up and back. I'm just saying that, you guys. Mine doesn't actually come there. But if I, instead of driving for the elbow, if I drive for the armpit, Left knee, left armpit, it does. So just 
Take your goal up a little bit higher. One more, left leg lifts. And now as I lift that right heel, shift forward and I keep moving my left knee forward through the elbow, through, 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 through until it steps. Back knee down. Walk it all the way back, sit on your heels, and squeeze together. Toe stand, inhale. And then maybe you can drop your elbows, your forearms down to the mat as you fold in here. Oh, I know sometimes it can sound different, but the leg is almost always doing the same thing. Remember when we lifted the toes up off the floor? I'm curling my toes back. I'm driving forward through my heel, pressing through the root of the big toe, spinning the heel open, lifting the kneecap, squeezing the quadriceps, drawing back to drop the rib cage and fold in. Inhale. Exhale. Shift that weight forward. Final vinyasa of class. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, urdhva. So we're creating a really wide, broad, open shoulder girdle. Press back. Downward facing dog. Take as many steps as you need as you walk your feet forward to the top of your mat. Bend your knees, sit down, knees go wide, bottoms of your feet together. Good. Slide your heels back. Yep, so close your knee joints as much as you can. Take your fingertips back behind you. I pick up my bum to push my hips back to come more to the front of my sitting bone. And then as I drag my mat backwards with my hands, I try to extend my chest past my toes. Right? And then as I'm doing this, I imagine blocks underneath my knees, trying to press my knees down towards the floor. Okay. Right? And so this is where good acting come in, comes in. Don't try to be something that you're not. Like, this to me is super opening. I can still breathe. I can maintain the quality of the action. Three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale one. If you have a deeper fold, if you need a deeper fold for two, Inhale. Exhale for three. Good. Back off. Step your feet down into the mat. Knees point up towards the ceiling. And then you're going to come all the way down onto your elbows. Come all the way down onto your upper back. And then we're going to finish in the with a shoulder stand. Okay? So I push my hands, elbows, and shoulders down into the mat. Already feel my chest lift. And then as you get a little bit of momentum, take the hips up and over. Interlace the hands and see variation. And it's that same thing of turning the biceps open. Bend elbow, hands at your mid back as you extend your leg up towards the ceiling. Shoulder stand. Same activity. In the toes, the feet, the ankles, the legs. If you have any space to walk the hands down the back body anymore, feed the legs up. Inhale. Exhale. Toes lower down, overhead. 
bend your knees, reach your hands back towards your ankles, pull yourself into a small little package, knees next to your ears, holding on to your ankles, Arna Pedasana. Inhale. Exhale, good. So to come down, I take my hands down along my side body, soften the knees, and I roll down through the spine, keeping the head heavy. Your choice, if you need a twist, if you need a bridge pose, or you could just bring the bottoms of your feet together, knees open wide, palms turn open. Okay, so when a movie's not engaging, I find myself distracted. My phone, usually my computer. But if something is really riveting, there's no distraction. Full quality of your awareness. Inhale. Exhale. Straighten your arms and legs. One minute. Take rest. Straighten the arms. Straighten the legs. Inhale. Out through the mouth. Exhale. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Just stretch your arms up overhead. And then bend your knees as you roll to the right. and press up to find seated. Oh, felt like it's been a while since we've had kind of a strong one like that. Fold the hands in front of the heart center. Okay, you guys, so your day is kind of like your movie unfolding and let's be careful about the settings that we're in our actors, right? The, the quality of our narrative, our script, and make sure that we're fully engaged. Taking your thumbs to your third eye, bow forward to seal your practice. Chai, see that's mom. 